Hey, what's up everyone? This is R13 and let's get straight to it, shall we? So, we're done with the unboxing and the out of the box feature. Let's get straight to it, shall we? And let's review the HG Cosmic Era G80-04 window. This unit released in 2020 and on top of that, this unit made an appearance at the second season of Gundam Seed Destiny. Okay, so before moving forward with the kit itself, let's talk about the history of this unit here. And in the box here, there's actually uh, the history. So you guys can actually post this section here if you want. So up next is, uh, let's talk about the weaponries of this unit here. Now, the first one is the guns or the CIWS that's usually located in the head but um, for the Wyndham here there's an additional added weaponry on the clavicle and then the next one is uh, the beam savers or it's called ES04B beam saver that's actually stored at the side skirt um, similar to the Justice Gundam actually or the Infinite Justice now and of course it doesn't turn into a like it's just a beam saver doesn't attach to each other and then the next one is the MK315 Stiletto Rocket Propelled Anti-Armor Penetrator uh, that is actually located at the wings here, as you guys can see. Now, the next one is your M9409L Beam Rifle. It's a standard beam rifle for the Wyndham itself. And last but not the least, you get the A52 Offensive Shield Type E. Now, this weapon here actually carries missile and it's actually quite sharp as well, as you guys can see. It comes with its um, MK438-B dual multi-purpose multi missile Worger S810. That is actually a mouthful. Now, <clears throat> there, you can actually add uh, more weaponers here, but uh, the ones in the manual here, actually gives out more information as well so the ones that actually shows here is the beam rifle beam saver and the offensive shield type e now all the information actually that i actually got is through gundam wiki so you guys can check them out uh, whenever you guys get the chance it's actually quite fascinating now any other weaponries here it's actually quite interesting if you add some more um uh, the look itself it gives that uh, jet fighter look i feel like this unit is actually about to transform now um let's do a side-by-side -side comparison between uh the slaughter dagger here that i actually built years ago sorry for the color of the um the beam savers of the slaughter dagger i borrowed it from the 105 dagger plus gun barrel okay as you guys can see here uh you get the slaughter dagger that was released i believe a decade ago and then you got the windham here size comparison wise just wow definitely bandai did a lot of work when it comes to uh, the production of the hg cosmic era windham here even the proportions are very different uh, if there was actually a windham from over a decade ago this will be the 2020 version will definitely a revive <laughs> When it comes to extra parts, there's only two polycaps left here. That's it. And the useful parts from the runners, there's nothing left really. And you get a pair of beam saver effect parts here. Now, for the details of this unit here, it's actually quite nice here. As you guys can see, the details are really good. 2020 kit. Now, for the dubs and the seam lines, it's really not that bad as well. Now for the beam rifle here, it's actually two piece as always. Actually, this one here is actually three piece. You can actually remove uh, the scope here. Now for the shield itself, and I'm gonna show you guys the feature as well. The shield is actually ball joint, so you can actually remove it easily. And there's even two slots there. Yep, it's actually quite nice. And then the best part is, it's usually, the slot for the shield is located on the elbow area. This one is by the wrist. So more mobility, which is actually quite fascinating. Yeah. And then 
the knobs is really not that bad as you guys can see so I'm just gonna show you guys here now you get seam lines here at the back of the leg here and uh, the knobs in those certain areas are quite annoying but really not that bad um, just extra careful when it comes to the knee guard here it's one piece it's a little bit soft I kind of shaved up a little bit on the Le, uh, right the uh, guard here as you guys can see now for the ankle guard here um, you got to be careful with this one here it's uh, all in one piece there's a slot there so if you move it it will yeah there you go it won't fall off but it's actually gonna be annoying to put it back there so just showing you guys here now now the other feature that this unit have is you can actually remove this thrusters here and it actually rotates as well so added weaponry and it looks like there's a slot there so definitely there's something that they might be releasing for for this kit here which is I am looking forward to not bad at all not bad as you guys can see um, and then on top of that the ankle guard uh, the connectors here are is actually two pieces but then you actually get the seam line. There's a proper sanding. Not bad at all. Now let's remove this uh, jet pack here. Now this pack here, it's actually called, what's that word again? The AQM slash EA4E1 Jet Striker. <laughs> Apparently this one here is actually uh, used on um, what do you call that now? On tanks. Uh, so I'm just gonna read it out loud here from the manual itself. To boost mobility during operations under gravity, jet strikers were attached to their backs. This one, uh, this was one of the striker pack system units that could equip drop tanks and weapons to its pylons. This equipment was shared between GAT dash slash. 02L2 dagger L units. Wow, so this is an older model, not bad at all. Yeah, and there's your rocket pod, so definitely added weaponry. <laughs> and you can definitely put some uh, other, what shall we call it now, other packs here as well. Just got to be careful with the pins there. Hmm. Now, let's just put this back together here and let's do some mobility tests. Okay, I seem to miss a couple of features uh, during the present uh, feature presentation, but then you guys will actually get to see those really nice features as well during the articulation test. So let us begin with the beam rifle here. Really nice. Sadly, there's no articulation here, just one piece. Disappointed. I would really love this handle to be able to move around and I little bit disappointed about that surprised at the same time but I do love your Wyndham here <laughs> really positive uh, outlook already now the next one here is the shield the only articulated part here is uh, the attachment just ball joints now the next one is your what's that word again jet striker <laughs> yes jet striker it is articulated now there's actually another feature that this unit have that you guys will get to see right now now there you go oh oops yep and you can definitely install this in other units that actually have a single slot there minor modification may be needed okay let's just put that weapon back there Okay, now up next is uh, the unit itself. Now for this one here, we're gonna start from bottom to top rather than top to bottom. Now for the feet itself, as you guys can see, front and back, but side to side, some limited articulation there. Now for the ankle guard here, up and down only no, nothing side to side there and now for this piece here you can remove this this is one of the feature that I like 
uh, opportunity to add some weapons but you get some rota rotation and articulation there now this is another piece here that i do like you can you guys can see some knobs and seam lines there hopefully yep there's one over here and there's a seam line there but then again proper sanding and seam line removal now this is the truster here it goes up and down fascinating <laughs> and then you get another seam line there oh well hidden seam line some nubs there proper sanding now it's double jointed yep <laughs> and then it can definitely do a split as you guys can see there and it's not a ball joint and you get the slot there for a basic action base now the side skirt here rotates with some some good articulation there for the front skirt here you get two options you get uh, one solid piece here that uh, that uh, have one movement or you can actually cut it in the middle as per instruction and you can actually just move it around so you got good range of motion here now for the chest itself now it's a ball joint and it actually got some articulation there and I want to show you guys something here on the inside there see that it's actually quite intriguing and here's another picture from the headpiece itself before they installed it before putting in the headpiece not bad huh okay so definitely some good articulation for the chest area and the waist now for the arm itself it's a uh, double uh, jointed which is nice you get some uh, seam line over there at the wrist area that you can fix easily if you want to and then you get the slot there for the shield and then it's double jointed for the arm as you guys can see and there you go it's a ball joint <laughs> sorry i'm a little bit rough there now for the headpiece itself it's a poly cap good range of motion actually and by the way the visor is a sticker okay there you have it guys the articulation of um, the windham here it's actually a really good build here too heavy on the sticker I'll be honest not actually a huge fan of the sticker there and uh, let's see do I have the sticker here nope I think I left it in my other room my work area but you guys I've already shown you guys uh, the sticker during the unboxing so you guys can check it out somewhere in the description below or somewhere here at the top right corner um, now is this unit worth getting actually yes definitely worth getting it's practically uh, it is a new kit from the Gundam Sea Destiny season 2 that uh, season 2 was released in uh, like 2006 2007 I can't even recall the year the Gundam Sea Destiny season 2 was released and on top of uh, having a even though this unit was based from the original data of the Strike Gundam and the daggers um, it still got that um, what do you call that now the dual Gundam feel to it because of the color blue but then you can actually notice that uh, it's uh, the chest piece itself is similar to the strike Gundam and the daggers dagger units but then the shoulder piece itself reminds me of the G P04 Stardust memory unit uh, the Gundam which is not bad um, on top of that the other good thing about this unit here is uh, limited nubs and uh, seam lines and then really solid feet good articulation so definitely get this unit if you get the chance and uh, the downside is the sticker so the visor could have been a separate piece here but the uh, band -Aid did got some corners there but then at the same time they pulled it off somehow and kit bashing for this unit here is there really great potential especially for the pack itself 
Yeah. Now, the other part that uh, Bandai did became, what do you call that now, lazy, is the backpack here. The truster here is actually one solid piece. <laughs> okay, so that's all the time that I got, guys. Thank you guys for watching this video. Really appreciate that you guys have been um, supporting this channel here. I have exceeded over 500 subscribers. I'm hoping that I can reach 1,000 subscribers by the end of the year. I know it's possible. So share this video, please, to your friends and family. Give this video a thumbs up. And don't forget to click the subscribe button and bell notification. And um, remember, have fun, relax, and enjoy. That is Gumpla. That's how it should be. That's how it's supposed to be. And have a good day, good night, afternoon, wherever you are. This is R13 signing out. I will see you guys on the next video.